Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you selected to create your chart of accounts using one of the business types listed in the new company setup wizard, then you likely have a full chart of accounts which will give you all of the accounts necessary to run a business. However, you may want to add, delete, or rename specific accounts in the default chart of accounts. You will also need to enter opening balances for your accounts as well. This can be done by using the Maintain Chart of Accounts window. You can open this window by selecting Maintain from the menu bar and then choosing the Chart of Accounts command. Notice the toolbar that appears at the top of this window. It contains buttons that allow you to add, edit, and remove accounts from your company file's chart of accounts. You can use the Close, New, Save, Delete, and Change ID buttons to make modifications to the listed accounts. Below that toolbar, you can use the Account ID dropdown to identify the account by ID. The account ID can be up to 15 characters in length and contain alphabetic and or numeric characters. Now starting in Peachtree 2004, you can use the Change ID button to change account IDs. The Description field shows a description for the account. You can also use the Inactive checkbox to make any active account ID inactive. Notice all of the accounts that appear when you click the Account ID dropdown. You can double click on any ID to select it from the list. Or in the newer versions of Peachtree, a single click will suffice. Now if you would like to see a listing of all of the accounts created in your chart of accounts, you can select Reports and Forms from the menu bar, or Reports if you're using 2003 through 2008, and then choose the General Ledger command. This will then launch the Select a Report or Form window. Here you can select the Chart of Accounts report in the report list and then click the display button that appears in the toolbar at the top of the window. Note that this button is called the preview button in Peachtree 2003 through 2008. Then if you want to print this report, simply click the print button in the reports preview window. Starting in Peachtree 2008, you can also access a listing of accounts by simply clicking the list button that appears in the Windows toolbar to open up a separate account list in a new window. Now also note that in Peachtree 2011, you will see a small window appear at the right side of all of your maintain windows, such as this one. This side window is the Setup Advisor panel. This panel shows you information about the purpose and possible uses of whichever field you currently have selected within the Maintain window. You can collapse the panel by clicking the X that appears in the upper right corner of the panel. You can expand the panel again by clicking the collapsed panel to see the content of the selected field within the window. Now when you go to create new accounts in the chart of accounts, you will need to create an account ID. You will then need to fill in a description for the account and then set the account type. So let's look at the information that we must provide Peachtree in order to add accounts to the chart of accounts. Now the first thing you must provide Peachtree with is an account ID. Peachtree allows the use of both alphabetic and numeric characters in its account numbers. You should set up an account numbering system that is systematic and coherent. It should be easy for others to use and understand. In a traditional general ledger, individual accounts are numbered and placed into numeric ranges similar to the following table. This can be a helpful guide in establishing account numbers. In the 10,000 range, you'll have cash, accounts receivable, and other assets. In the 20,000 range, you'll have accounts payable and then liabilities. 
The 30,000 range is for equity accounts. The 40,000 range is for income accounts. The 50,000 through 70,000 range is for cost of sales and then other expenses. The 80,000 range would be other income accounts. And the 90,000 range would be for other miscellaneous expenses. Now, Peachtree sample companies use numbering schemes similar to this one. And as you add more accounts, keep in mind a few rules about the account IDs. The first rule is that you can use up to 15 characters. The second is that beginning in Peachtree 2004, you can modify account IDs after they have been created. The third is that you can modify account descriptions at any time. The fourth is that spaces between characters are allowed. The fifth is that account numbers are sorted alphabetically, numbers first, then letters. The sixth is that account numbers are case sensitive in Peachtree versions prior to Peachtree 2006. The seventh is that there can be only one retained earnings account. Now once you've entered an account ID, you would then enter your description. Note that descriptions can be changed at any time. After that, you would then assign the account to one of Peachtree's account types using the account type dropdown. The account types are accounts payable, accounts receivable, accumulated depreciation, cash, cost of sales, equity that doesn't close, equity that gets closed, equity retained earnings, expenses, fixed assets, income, inventory, long-term liabilities, other assets, other current assets, and other current liabilities. When you are creating your accounts, remember to click the New button each time before you add a new account into the Maintain Chart of Accounts window, and also click the Save button after each new account that you create to save it into the list. Also note that starting in Peachtree 2008, you can save a step in this process by simply clicking the Save and New button instead. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.